Russo'sBrand.com, where the pros are the pros. Castrating the marks. All right, well, let's start with this Dave Meltzer tweet about Disco. Yeah, this Disco was- just, I, I just did my show with Disco, and he was smartening me up about what's going on with him and Meltzer. So this was sent in by Mark DiPaolo and Angel P. They were talking about Disco, and some fan said about Disco, his inability to understand some fans like AEW style and work rate, there we go, and yep. work rate, is beyond me. He and others trying to gatekeep wrestling is lame. And to me, he and others represent everything wrong with the old days of drugs and partying and everything that gets guys killed before 40. Before we even go to Meltzer's response, does this guy have any self-awareness of wrestling fans? Today's wrestling fans are gatekeeping this niche product. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, what are you talking about, Jake? Jeff, I just went to uh, I just went to uh, ProWrestling.net, our good friend Jason, uh, to get the numbers. And guess what? Uh, the September second edition of Raw. Oh, this year's number was down from last year's number. The same on the same date and the same time. Oh, okay, but it's red hot, bro. Right it's red hot, but less people are watching this year than they did last year. On fire. It's on fire, bro. Best on it's fire. ever been. Best it's yeah. ever been. 1.7 mil, bro. 1.7 mil on fire. Yeah. Yeah. So Meltzer replies to this guy about disco. You're missing the point on him. He's just a guy desperate for attention and thinks it helps his podcast. Can, can we stop there for a second? What, 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 what does Dave honestly think that? I, I mean, if bro, if if you know disco at all, disco is not an attention seeker or an intention. D- disco likes screwing with people. That that he like he gets a kick out of. It. He pops himself. Disco is not a guy looking for attention. He's never been like that. That really shows you how little Dave Meltzer knows about these guys, bro. Well, he goes even further and he says, I don't think he believes half of what he says and he doesn't study the business at all. So he wouldn't know. Not someone you can learn from. So don't waste your time worrying about him. Study the business. I I, I, I still want to know what goes into studying the business. I still want to understand that, bro. Dave must still be salty about Disco calling him out on Booker T that we had that clip of. Oh, God, bro, please. Such such freaking nonsense. But yeah, this is the this is the gaslighting that the audience of Meltzer just they read this, they soak it in, and they now they believe this. Disco yeah. doesn't know anything. No. He doesn't study the business because you know Dave studies the business, so he knows everything. What what what, what is Dave studying? <laughs> the ratings, Vince. And then he he looks at the ratings of how what happens, and then now that's what's supposed to happen. Unbelievable. That's what he does. Study. He studies the business. Do you know how freaking ridiculous that statement is? You know what a joke that statement. I I study. You know, Jeff. You know what I study when I go to bed every night. I don't know if you do. I study Steinfeld. <laughs> I don't. I don't just watch it, Jeff. I study it when I when I when it's on my TV. I am studying Seinfeld, bro. But yeah, but that, okay, that that's a perfect example because let's say you've watched it so much, you know every episode title, you know what season it aired in. Now that was season five, episode six. You know who wrote every episode. You know all the guest stars. You know who, the actors' names. That would be like you saying you now know more than somebody that worked. In yeah, Larry, industry. Dave, Larry, I know yeah. more than Larry David. Yeah, you could make a TV show or talk about a TV, right. making a TV show better than Absolutely. people that were on there. Absolutely, the same thing. Yeah, I just connected the dots yesterday, though, on Seinfeld, bro. Because I just I don't pay, I don't study it as much as Jeff study. Uh, uh, you know, Dave studies wrestling. I just connected the dots. Uncle Leo is Jerry's mother's brother. Yeah. I, I just connected those dots yesterday, bro. And, and that happened in 1995. It took me 30 years to connect those dots. I guess I, I got to study more, bro. I got to study more. All right. Let's go to an Andrew Zarian video. Why is that name familiar? He's the guy that Stevie Richards. Oh, I know, okay. Stevie, I know who it yeah. is. I know who it is. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the guy that couldn't verify that you were consulting, but he took Stevie's word for it. Remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
So this was sent in by J12, and he's answering a question because he's a big insider, Vince. He's got sources everywhere, right? Yeah. Big Meanwhile, insider. Meanwhile, he couldn't confirm that we were consulting for a USA Network. Right. So he's asked by one of the viewers if he, if the chances that AEW will announce their new TV deal at All Out, which I think is already taking place by the time this airs. It, it depends when it's completed. Uh, the last thing I was told is that the lawyers have it. Oh, oh, you you think, bro? Wow, is that insightful? That that is insightful news, right there, Jeff. Now listen, th this is a perfect example of trying to figure out what to say on the spot when you don't know shit. Well, Jeff, hold on. I I do want. I've I've got some hot news. Uh, remember, I told you that Kevin Kelly and two of the other wrestlers uh, were suing AEW. I think the lawyers have that paperwork right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who's going to win that case? Well, it, it depends who the judge decides. Yeah. It depends <laughs> who the jury goes with, you know? Exactly. That's it. Yeah. 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 It, it depends when it's completed. Uh, uh, the last thing I was told is that the lawyers have it. So, uh, well, I don't I, know. I can't shit. tell you that. I don't, I don't know shit. I'm trying to sound like I know shit, but quite yeah. frankly, I don't know shit. And yeah, I, I, I think the lawyers would have it, bro. Uh, uh, yeah, he's trying to come up with something right here. So, uh, I I can tell you that. Uh, uh, let me word this, okay? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know for all that. I think it would be an appropriate time, but I I, I do think that they're up for another announcement coming. You know, they they're gonna do something. They, and oh, you think they're gonna do something? <laughs> this is you great think, insider knowledge. You think they're gonna do something? Yeah, they're gonna do something. They're gonna do something. This is great knowledge. So this has to be a a coordinated effort, right, between w, WBD's PR department, their marketing mm -hmm. team, AEW. Once the contract is done and everything is signed and dotted, they are you they, they, are you freaking kidding me? Tony Khan with his last five year history, he's gonna wait for all that, Jeff. He's gonna wait for WB to give him the green light, and then then there's a there's a press release and get the freak out of here. I I I, I know better than that. Signed and dotted, they, they there's just stuff. But I will tell you this. I mean, I I have a a great relationship with a lot of people in that company yeah. uh aw2 but uh, wbd yeah. um and i see a lot of these guys regularly and it's a very casual time i mean i'm friends with how, how, how does he see these guys regularly is he hanging out in the lobby of <laughs> wbd bro like how, how does he possibly see these guys regularly he probably knows somebody that has a job there that has nothing to do with tv at all right you know right. Somebody yeah. that that works uh, oh, yeah. you somebody know, a on the or yeah. a somebody on the or on the WBD ring crew. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't think the discussion around AEW in 2025 and 2026 would be happening if this wasn't done in in principle or agreed upon. Right now we're just dotting yeah. all the I's and crossing all the T's, but. Like I've had conversations with people there about certain programming that they're going to be working on. You don't do that mm -hmm. with a product that you don't believe is on your station or part of your your network in what are we October, November, December in, in four months. Wow. I hope nobody's paying for that, man. That's all I got to say. Cause well, you that just, guy paid two dollars for that question. Yeah, you just threw your money away, bro.